If you're wondering how to get fairy stones and seekers tokens in Dragon's Dogma 2, this is the video for you. How's it going everybody, Mr. After Games here. In this video I'll be showing you how to get all the fairy stones and seekers tokens in Verm Vermworth. So first of all, the one that I got, uh, it's uh, in the inn, on the second floor. Go out and uh, once you get on top here, I've used the mage ability to levitate. And uh, once I got to this roof, you will get uh, the first seeker, seeker token and uh, one fairy stone. To support the channel and to help me get to more people, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 videos. Also check them out in the right upper corner, I'll leave you a link. Thank you. Alright, let's keep going. The next one, if you go in the city square, uh, if you climb on this and uh, you can see a chest here, levitate here and you can uh, you can get it easily. The other option will be to throw your pawn uh, on the on that uh, first uh, uh, terrace shop and then throw it uh, here where the bridge is. This is the location above Roderick's smithy, close to the entrance in the Fernworth. Now going down, you can see the fountain in the middle. So go there and you will see another Seeker's token. Our second one here is right over here. I'm gonna tell you at the end what to do with this uh, Seeker's token uh, because they are really important. So uh, this one is over here in Vernworth. Next, uh, next one, next Seeker's token. If you go in the garden, uh, in the castle area, you will see this uh, hole and you could see the token here and location is right over here in Vernworth close to that uh, house in uh, in the garden in the castle area in the proximity of the last one we're gonna find uh, another uh, seeker token so go in this uh, in Baldwin's estate and go all the way to the top uh, on the stairs and then once you get here you're gonna see this uh, these doors so go out and uh, now you we need to climb on the roof so go on this first roof here on the left and you can use the scaffolding to go here and then jump on the roof once you get uh, here on the left side you will see the secret token down there just close to me i was thinking it's in that tower but no it was actually close to me and this is the location right over here now what we need to do is to go back where that scaffolding was and we're gonna go into the sewers so go here and go down here we're gonna get inside here is gonna be one chest and some other things as well you'll find some lantern oil oh don't forget to okay and now open up this chest you can find marchers cuses armor expeditioner cloak a lot of things in here and also the seekers token you'll see in a second if you want to get some uh, meat from these rats, you can uh, deal them damage and get uh, also fine uh, mince meat from uh, from them and rotten scrag of beast. And get this secret token at the end of this uh, small tunnel here in the sewers. Next one is right over here. If you climb these stairs, is uh, in the garden here close to the outside the wall of the castle in the most southern point, southern point of Vermworth. So go climb these stairs and uh, go there to get that fairy stone. This is the third fairy stone in this area. Next secret token, if you climb uh, these, uh, if you go down here and you'll see this fountain, climb the top of this fountain and you will find it here. And now to show you on the map where I was, just outside of the castle, close to Noble Quarter. Just from the castle entrance, go out. And now I'm showing you the next point, where I was. I had to climb here on this viaduct and I got some things. I got also 2000 gold, which is really, really good. You'll see this as uh, the outside uh, wall of the castle the exit of the castle or the entrance. Climb on this tower and you'll find this uh, seeker token here. This is right over here. 
at the exit or entrance of the um, Verward town. Next one, if you go down, but don't die. <laughs> if you go down here, you'll uh, you'll find it next to this statue. Get it from the feet of the statue. Very very close by to the previous one. This is the eighth secret token in Verworth. There are nine in total, and there are four or five, depends how you count them, um, fairy stones. And there is one extra more you can buy from the merchants. The last secret token that I found it's outside of the city walls. So go here. Follow this path along the, the walls. And right at the very end here, we're gonna find a secret token. This is right over here, the northern point, northest point of the capital of Verworth. The next fairy stone that I found, uh, you can see this ladder here on the right. So climb the ladder all the way to the top. Now jump on this small uh, platform, jump here, then jump on the other side. This is the trickiest one that I got. And you can find it in this chest here. And now to show you the location on the map is right over here. Close to uh, the merchant uh, quarter, close to the town center, let's say. Now if you go to Klaus, you can turn in all seeker uh, tokens and you can get one fairy stone and the ring of vehemence which is a really cool uh, ring as i said there is one extra uh, stone if you go to the merchants in the um, close to the fountain in the town center you can uh, get with 10000 uh, gold coins you can get one more fairy stone that's the extra one that i was telling you about I really hope this video helped you and uh, I think it uh, helped you not to buy any microtransaction, not to do any microtransactions and uh, thank you all, please leave a like to help me back, subscribe to the channel for more Dragon's Dogma 2 videos and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you all and see you in my next video, bye!